keeping up with our motto let learning be joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students i am mrs sonal shadoshi from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college teaching you all geography today for grade 7 chapter 1 how seasons occur part 1 As we all know we are living on planet earth let's recall the things we have learnt in earlier standards how do day and night occur on the earth day and night occur due to the rotation of the earth what term is used to describe the earth's motion around the sun the earth's motion around the sun is called revolution how long does it take to do so The Earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution. In which hemisphere is our country located? Our country is located in northern and eastern, that is, north eastern hemisphere. Why don't the sun's rays fall perpendicular at all the places on the Earth? The sun's rays don't fall perpendicular at all the places on the Earth because of the inclined axis. of the earth that is tilted axis of the earth here are some facts about the rotation of the earth earth rotates on tilted axis that is 23.5 degree tilted it rotates from west to east it takes approximately 24 hours to complete one rotation Now as we all know earth also revolves around the sun and it takes approximately 365 days to complete one revolution rotation and revolution of the earth are two major reasons for the seasons occurring on the earth let us see how rotation affects the season so during a single day we experience different stages of daytime and nighttime that is sunrise noon sunset and night due to rotation of the earth on its tilted axis the effects of tilted axis the tilt of the earth's axis and the position of the earth in its orbit affect the angle that the sunlight strikes on the earth as the earth moves around the sun it rotates on its axis so we have day and night the side of the earth facing the sun is bathed in light and heat that is daytime the side of the earth facing away from the sun out towards the space is darker and colder and it faces nighttime revolution of the earth and the seasons the earth's revolution not only affects but actually causes the temperature conditions that give us spring summer fall and winter seasons the seasons on the earth are always opposite in each hemisphere thus rotational process causes the sun to be higher in the sky in winter and lower in summer for example If you see the first image sun rays fall directly on the northern hemisphere so northern hemisphere faces summer season at that point of time whereas there will be winter in the southern hemisphere and vice versa so as we have seen the three major causes for seasons on the earth are tilted axis of the earth rotation of the earth and revolution of the earth around the sun the combined effect of inclination of the earth's axis and the orbital motion of the earth causes seasons here are some interesting facts about revolution and seasons on the earth
task uh, task for today is to find out the largest day on the earth the shortest day on the earth the largest night on the earth and the shortest night on the earth thank you students